can't handle the truth. Hello everybody, my name is Ivan Yuban. This is 360 Degree Mastery. This is a channel where we teach you personal effectiveness, self-mastery, and how to create, grow, and manage your wealth. Now, even though I run a successful business for myself, I still get my fair share of offers from companies who see me online, they recognize the skills, and they want me to come and join their team in one capacity or the other. So I go for my fair share of interviews, and before I go for job interviews, there are a number of things that I do to prepare for those job interviews. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, how to have a great job interview. A lot of people, they find um, you know vacancies online, they seem to be qualified for it, they have in the academic qualifications and the requirements, they apply, they go for the interviews, at the end of the day, they don't get the job, and they come away asking why. I'm going to give you a few tips to increase your chances of getting that dream job from that interview. Now, the first thing that you need to do, your first tip is you need to find out what the role is and the requirements for that particular role. A lot of people, they go on social media, the sites like LinkedIn, and they see you know jobs, and um, because those jobs are on the easy apply uh, portion of LinkedIn, they just look and they see that all you need is a degree and they have that degree and they just apply for it. They don't know what the job you know, requires, they don't know what the demands of that role is. You need to find out, read in detail because any employer will put in detail the, you know, the demands, the requirements of the role that he's advertising for. So you need to find out what that role requires. Even if you don't get enough information from that particular page, or from that advert, look for somebody who is working in a similar role and find out what it will take. The more you know about the job you are going for, the better your chances of getting that job. Tip number two is you need to research into the nature of the company or the employer. Find out as much as possible about that company whose interview you want to go for. Find out when they started, when they were founded, what their values are, what their vision and mission statements are. Believe me, these kind of things will help you when you go for that job interview. It is very, very important. Tip number three is you need to prepare a detailed CV, a detailed resume. Now, when I say detailed, I do not mean a five or ten page CV. Nobody has time to be going through all those pages. But your CV should be detailed in that the, the, the requirements for that particular job, you will have them in that CV and at a moment's glance, anybody who is reading it can tell that you are qualified for that job. It could be a page or a couple of pages, but just make it short, put the skills that you have in there, especially the skills that are required for that job, make sure that those skills and uh, you know those uh, talents are at the top. So anybody picking up that CV will see them at a glance and know that this person is a good candidate for this job. In fact, you can have you know two or three or four or five versions of your resume depending on the type of job you are going for. For example, I have a resume that uh, you know emphasizes my skills as a banker, my experience as a financial services provider. I have another resume that emphasizes my skills as a consultant, as a trainer, as a facilitator. Still yet, I have another resume that emphasizes my skills as a communicator, as a writer. These are all different resumes. It is the same thing, this is the truth, but I make sure that the skills that I want that they are you know, related to that particular job, that particular position I'm going for, those ones are at the front, those ones are emphasized. So you can create two or three different types of resumes that will work out in your favor. Make sure you bring what you know to the fore, so whoever is looking at your resume, whether before the interview or during the interview, can see that you are the best person for that job. Tip number four is you need to be well-dressed and you need to be punctual. A lot of people have missed out on chances for employment because when they arrive at this, you know, at the venue for the interview, they are not looking well dressed, they are not looking well turned out, they have been sitting in traffic for a long time, they wasted a lot of time, and then they arrive late and they are looking flustered and it makes a very bad impression. Nothing is better than making a good first impression, especially when you are going for a job. So try and arrive on time. If you need to be there at 8 o'clock, try and arrive by 7. If you arrive by 6, there's no problem. You can find somewhere to hang around, read a book, brush up on what you are learning, and prepare yourself properly for that role so that by the time you step through the door, you are oozing confidence, you are looking professional, and you are on the money. That is your fifth tip. You have to make sure that, no, your fourth tip, you have to make sure that uh, you, know, you arrive on time and you are well dressed. Do not wear jeans and t shirts to a job that requires um, accounting experience or engineering experience. In fact, to be on the safe side, if you are going for any type of job, whether white collar, blue collar, dress professionally, wear a nice suit or a nice shirt and tie, 
and um, you know make sure you are well talked in, you are well turned out. Tip number five is you need to ask questions. Don't just go for an interview and sit down and um, they tell you whatever they want to tell you and then you tell them thank you and stand up and leave. No, you ask questions. Prepare questions in advance that you're going to ask them. Oh, what? how do you guys do this? Oh, what uh, is the process for this? You ask them questions that will make them know that you are interested in the job and you know exactly what you are about. It will warm them up to you. It will give you a better chance of getting that job. So you ask questions. Don't just go there and um, accept whatever is told to you. And then when they ask you if you have any questions, you say no and you stand up and leave. It gives them a negative impression of you. They say this person does not seem to have a mind of their own. This person doesn't take initiative. Maybe we should consider somebody else. So ask questions, intelligent questions. Don't ask silly questions, please. Ask intelligent questions. It will endear you to the interviewers and um, it will increase your chances of getting that job. Let me give you a bonus tip. Tip number six. Finally, you need to smile. Body language is very, very important in an interview. You come into an interview, I've conducted a lot of interviews, both for my own company and for several companies that have contracted me to do so. And one thing that I always notice is that the people who come in and exhibit a negative body language, they end up not getting the job. Alright, so when you come in, you smile, you are polite, okay, when you sit, you sit confidently, don't sit back in your seat, don't sit too far at the edge of your seat to appear desperate, okay, you sit down, you relax, your back is straight, you are looking into the eyes of the people who are, you know, um, who are interviewing you, you are answering questions, you don't stomp, you know, you don't uh, stumble over your words, you don't stutter, you don't stammer, these are the kind of body language that give you a good chance of getting that job, alright, so let's quickly recap. First thing you need to do is you need to find out exactly what that job role requires. Do some research into the company. Make sure your CV is detailed and the qualities that will fit you for that job are at the forefront. Be punctual and dress properly. Then ask questions and then finally smile, project a positive uh, body language. How do you see this video? I'm sure this video was helpful for you. Please go ahead and click like. And share this video with somebody else who needs it. There are people out there who do not understand the basics of going for a good interview. Share this video with them. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. My name is Ifan Yuba and this is 360 Degree Mastery. And I'm urging you to please and please brush up, prepare for that job interview. Go out there and get that job, that dream job. And you will do very well. I will see you next week, God willing. Continue to observe the safety protocols. And God bless. Namaste.